On February 13, 2017, while hiking, 13-year-old Abigail Williams and 14-year-old Liberty German were murdered by one unidentified male suspect near the Monon High Bridge Trail among woodland in Delphi, Indiana, United States. So far many suspects have been put forward but none of them have proven to be the killer. On December 6, 2021 a public information officer with Indiana State Police announced the discovery of a fictitious online persona Anthony Schatz, it belonged to a 27-year-old man named Keegan Anthony Klein of Peru, Indiana. At the time of the announcement, Klein was being held in the Miami County Jail for 30 alleged crimes including child exploitation, possession of child pornography, child solicitation for sexual intercourse and obstruction of justice. Liberty German and the other underage girls who communicated with the Anthony Schatz profile thought they were communicating with a handsome successful model unaware that behind the fictitious model facade was Keegan Anthony Klein. Klein set up the fake social media accounts, in which he misused model photos of Vince Kowalski from Alaska by the fictitious name of Anthony Schatz, to catfish potential underage victims using Instagram and Snapchat, one of the girls he chatted with on Snapchat was Liberty German. Keegan Anthony Klein said that he should have met up with Liberty German as the Anthony Schatz character the day she and Abigail Williams were murdered, if this is correct it is likely that he had reconnaissance the terrain in the Monon High Bridge Trail area before arranging to meet up with Liberty there. Keegan Anthony Klein had deleted all the content in his iPhone 5C before handing it over to the police, did he so because that phone contained a lot of information about a pedophilia ring that he was a key player in, if he had exposed the pedophilia ring to the police, the ring members would have dealt with him as a snitcher and most likely have done away with him as a weak link in the chain. Keegan knew this and therefore did his utmost to prevent the police from getting hold of the content. While he did not so with his two other smartphones which only implicated him, these phones contained nude and pornographic images of minor girls which he had obtained from juvenile girls by tricking and enticing them by using a fake handsome Instagram profile. Keegan Anthony Klein told that his father Tony Klein often went to Carroll County to fish. With its abundance of rivers, creeks, ponds, and lakes, Carroll County is blessed with many rich fishing spots. The Wabash and Tippecanoe Rivers, Wildcat and Deer Creeks, Lake Freeman, Knopp Lake and Eller Pond provide an almost endless supply of fishing, canoeing and boating opportunities. It has been claimed on social media that after the bridge guy had killed Abigail Williams and Liberty German on February 13, 2017 near the Monon High Bridge Trail area he was evacuated out of Delphi in Tony Klein's red Rubicon Jeep with Keegan Anthony Klein as a passenger who the driver was is not mentioned. The bodies of Abigail Williams and Liberty German were found on a forested part of the old farmer Ronald Logan's property on February 14, 2017. Ronald Logan was born in October 1939 and died of coronavirus in February 2022. It is possible that the bridge guy has worked several times as a seasonal farm hand on Ronald Logan's farm. The bridge guy would thus be familiar with the Monon High Bridge area and if he was associated with a Kokomo drop box pedophile ring led by Keegan Anthony Klein. He likely suggested to the ring members that he could carry out an attack on juvenile girls at the bridge on behalf of the ring with Keegan Anthony Klein assisting in luring the victims out there. With the fact that a drop box pedophilia ring was revealed in connection with the investigation of Keegan Anthony Klein and that his father Tony Klein worked at Kokomo Chrysler Transmission which among its employees had child sex offenders, it is possible that father and son Tony and Keegan recruited some of these into a pedophile ring linked to the profile of Anthony Schatz. These convicted Kokomo Chrysler Transmission employees may in turn have recruited members outside of Chrysler Transmission. Local pedophiles from all over the Kokomo area. In this video I consider a group of men who can be thought to be part of such a ring, they are in recent years suspected, charged with or convicted of serious offenses related to child porn, sex crimes against children and a murder, in addition to exposed people like these, such a pedophilia ring will also have many members who haven't yet been caught and exposed by the police and thus are anonymous as offenders. The bridge guy may be among them, so by putting the spotlight on these people one can also reveal the bridge guy. Keegan Anthony Klein would lure two underage girls there for an ambush that would slaughter the two victims, 
performed by one or two members of the pedophile ring fit for such a task. The attack would be recorded on an action camera attached to the attacker's head, a video that was to be shared with the sexual sadistic pedophile ring. One can speculate that at a meeting arranged by the father and son Klein for the core members of the Dropbox pedophile ring, they may have come to the conclusion that the Monon High Bridge as a desolate, haunted, creepy and scary place could perfectly work as a backdrop for filming a sadistic child murder that the pedophile ring planned. Corey Allen Thomas of Peru, Indiana was a registered sex offender, last known addresses, 3017W500S Trailer 15, Peru, Indiana 46970, and at 712 Union Street, Kokomo, Indiana 46901, he had brown eyes, a height of 5 feet 9 inch, was bald and weighed 220 pounds, convicted of child molestation on September 17, 1999. Corey Allen Thomas was born on December 8, 1958 to Melvin Thomas and the late Marilyn May Payne Thomas Beagle, at 62 he died unexpectedly on July 7, 2021 at his home. Corey was survived by his father Melvin Thomas and stepmother Mary Ellen Thomas of Kokomo, his son Kyle Thomas of Kokomo, Indiana and adopted daughter Renee Wesson, brother Kerry Thomas of Florida and half-brother Hank Beard of Ohio and several grandchildren. Corey served in the Army, he worked for years as a semi-truck driver and at the time of his death was working at Chrysler in Kokomo, Indiana, Tony Klein did also work there, did they knew each other, had they become pals and if so did Tony and Keegan allow Corey Allen to use the Anthony underscore shots profile with them to catfish and solicit nude images from underage girls. Bo Engel, a 38-year-old teacher at Tipton High School in Indiana, faced multiple child sex charges on April 18, 2017. Nearly two years after school officials first learned of his sexual relationship with a minor female student, police arrested him on child seduction charges. Engel told police he and the girl had dozens of meetings at his Howard County home and in his office at the school since 2015. Engel faced 12 counts of child seduction charges, each of which carries a potential of 1 to 6 years in prison and a $10,000 fine. February 16, 2017, Kokomo, Indiana Child exploitation detectives posting messages to online forums popular with those looking for child pornography came into contact with 26-year-old Elliot Vaughn Schaffner earlier in the month. Schaffner, under the online username Elliot underscore 90765, responded to one of those posts by indicating that he was interested in sexual activity with children. At one point the undercover officer asked Schaffner if Schaffner had young children, at which point Schaffner said no. But indicated that he was sexually active with a five-year-old female child. Investigators subsequently found that a child molestation report had been filed with the Kokomo Police Department in 2015 alleging sexual activity between Schaffner and a four-year-old child. No charges were ever filed in that investigation. During the course of their conversation, the undercover officer reportedly received numerous images and videos from Schaffner depicting very young children in sex acts or sexually explicit poses. At one point, Schaffner reportedly said he would have access to the five-year-old soon and would try to photograph her or have sexual contact with her. Following those conversations, investigators subpoenaed Kick Messenger, the service Schaffner was using to converse with the undercover officer, for records relating to the Elliot underscore 90765 username. They then subpoenaed the IP address used frequently by that account, which led them to Schaffner's residence in Kokomo, Indiana. A federal search warrant was executed at that residence on February 10. Inside the home, agents found a cell phone, USB drive and laptop all containing pornographic images and videos of children. In an interview with police, Schaffner admitted to sending the images of child pornography to the undercover officer. Schaffner was subsequently taken into custody on federal charges of possession and distribution of child pornography. 
a Kokomo teacher accused of child exploitation and possession of child pornography. Brian Lee Jakes, 49, was arrested on April 23, 2021 and charged with 14 felonies in Howard County, including 10 counts of possession of child pornography and 4 counts of child exploitation. Kokomo School Corporation officials confirmed that Jakes had been placed on leave following his arrest. Jakes was one of four kindergarten teachers at the Elwood Haynes Elementary School. The Kokomo Police Department began investigating Brian Lee Jakes in February 2021. On April 13, police obtained a warrant and searched Jakes' home on Arundel Drive, where they seized digital devices. The next day, Jakes was reported missing and on April 15, Howard County Sheriff's Office deputies located him near 1200 West and 100 South. Police said Jake sustained self-inflicted injuries and was transported to a hospital in Indianapolis for treatment. On April 23, Jakes was released from the hospital and taken into custody. On February 16, 2017 in Kokomo, Indiana, Kokomo police captured a man considered one of Howard County's most wanted fugitives. The Kokomo Police Department Drug Task Force and K-9 unit conducted a traffic stop in the 1800 block of East Markland Avenue Wednesday evening. They found Gabriel Sebastian Ellis, 40, in the back seat of the car with a 16-year-old girl who had been reported as a runaway. Ellis was arrested on a warrant for child exploitation and possession of child pornography. During the search, police located a firearm and methamphetamine. Ellis was also charged with dealing methamphetamine, possession of methamphetamine, child exploitation and felon carrying a handgun. The 16-year-old was transported to the Kinsey Youth Center. The 16-year-old girl is said to be a cousin of the murdered Karina Mack Clerken. Gabriel Sebastian Ellis was a close acquaintance of Blaine Nelson and Blaine's uncle Flint Vincent Farmer, they frequently hung around and did drugs together. Blaine said that Gabe could be very violent towards people that had double-crossed him and to his enemies. He owned an AK-15 assault rifle, he is also said to be a member of a gang called Sons of Odin. Once Blaine visited Gabriel, a minor girl was staying with him, Blaine suspected that child molestation possibly took place there so he immediately left the home so as not to be suspected to be an accomplice if a police raid occurred. The 57-year-old Flint Vincent Farmer was arrested in the 600 block of South Purdom Street on July 18, 2022 in Kokomo, Indiana. Next day skeletal remains believed to belong to Karina McClurkin were discovered in Bunker Hill near the Miami Correctional Facility in nearby Miami County, those remains were sent to Fort Wayne for testing to confirm the identity. Surveillance footage from the night in question on October 23, 2016 shows Flint Vincent Farmer, the 18-year-old Karina McClurkin and a third unidentified person heading into the village pantry at around 10 p.m. and then later has the trio leaving at around 10.32. She was last seen in the 1000 block of South Washington Street in Kokomo. One person told police that McClurkin was seen at Farmer's apartment on the night of her disappearance and that they later heard sounds as Farmer was wrestling with a woman. Another witness told police they heard the sound of a woman being hurt. Police followed up but couldn't locate the missing girl inside the apartment. Blaine Nelson is a close friend of his murder suspect uncle Flint Vincent Farmer and his friend Gabriel Sebastian Ellis who is charged with child porn, child exploitation and dealing with methamphetamine, the trio used to do drugs together. Blaine had been adopted by his uncle's sister who worked at Kokomo Chrysler Transmission. Blaine has stated on YouTube that he and his uncle Flint Vincent Farmer didn't know Keegan and Tony Klein and that he and his uncle had been drug addicts for years. But they had now stopped doing drugs, he over a year ago while his uncle had stopped over three years ago, as a drug-free Flint Vincent has worked as a capable barber. Before the drug abuse took control of Flint Vincent, he had worked at Kokomo Chrysler Transmission, there is no information on whether he worked there concurrently with Tony Klein and Corey Allen Thomas. Blaine said he knew about the Delphi murders and had worked at Indiana Packers Corporation in Delphi in 2013 and 2014. He had to quit when he had to serve a longer prison term. When he got out of prison in November 2016 he tried again to get a job at the Indiana Packers Corporation. Vincent Farmer, 
who is the son of Flint Vincent Farmer, has helped his father with driving assignments and some practical services, while his father has helped him financially for among other things the purchase of music equipment. While visited by his son and nephew in prison, Flint Vincent has denied any involvement in Karina McClurkin's disappearance and death and told them that the accusations against him are only based on gossip and not facts. Witnesses that were drug addicts and opioid dealers saw Karina McClurkin in Flint Vincent Farmer's home that evening eating pizza, having dinner, changing to shorts, hearing wrestling sounds, later a witness saw a body covered with a blanket lying on the floor in the home, while Flint Vincent Farmer asserts that McClurkin never came inside his apartment that night.